Hey everyone, Dan Shore here from the Experts in the Wire SEO podcast and Evolving SEO. I want to show you a very fast way, a method that I've been using to find topic ideas very quickly for my clients. You can do this for your clients, for your company, for your own business, but uh, I've been refining this method in the last few months and it's very quick. So this is sort of a medium to advanced level SEO screencast. I'm not going to explain every single little thing that's happening here, but it, uh, it happens in three steps. If you have questions, leave me comments below. I'm happy to dig into the details and answer them, but I want to move quickly for those of you that have some experience doing keyword research. So there's three steps here. Number one is we're going to find seed topics for our industry. Number two is we're going to dig into the long tail to find the actual blog topics. And number three, we're going to do a quick assessment to see if we can rank for those uh, topics that we've identified from the long tail and then plan out the, uh, the posting for those topics. So step number one, I've got a couple example industries here. As you can see, I've done a little bit of pre-research for this video. Uh, let's say you're doing uh, content ideas for a piano website. This is a website that sells pianos online. Uh, your first step, number one, is to find the seed topics. And what I mean by this is just sort of like the broad related topics around the idea of piano. So I have two tools that I love to, to do this. Number one is the Moz Keyword Explorer, and number two is Bloomberry uh, by the folks at BuzzSumo. So first of all, um, if you use the Moz Keyword Explorer and you type that in here, you want to filter it by based on broadly related topics with medium lexical similarity. All we're doing is very quickly getting tangent topic ideas for seed topics off of the broad topic piano. So as you can see, the Moz tool is pulling in a bunch of related instruments and things like that. Uh, in my research here, I've pulled out something like piano chords or learn piano. Uh, and then let's say we want to find seed topics for sales. Uh, first, I did sales, and I got some things that were okay, but then I went and did I, I did sales margin as a known sort of term, and then I got some other cool things back from that. Uh, sometimes you can play around with the filters here, but then you get things like maintain margin, average online retail margin, retail margin table. So all these things are not the actual topics we're going to post about. We're just getting related topic ideas uh, to springboard off of and dig into to find long tail. And by the way, this method works really well for sites that are sort of at a medium authority level. So I recommend this approach for sites, let's say, in between like a 30 to a 60 or so domain authority uh, with other sites that are in similar competitive areas. This method doesn't work as great for sites that are lower authority or super, super high authority. There's different approaches for all of those. So Let's say you found some seed topics uh, for piano and for sales software. Let's just do some for maternity clothing as well. So maybe you want to do, uh, you know, something like, uh, like, like women's uh, women's fashion. And let's filter by medium. Again, we're just getting broad topics. So women's hairstyles. That's interesting because. We're getting um, something that, you know, you might have brainstormed on your own, but uh, we're really using the tool to spring us into other topics that are tangent and related. So Betsy Johnson, whoever that is, I have no idea, but she must be related to the fashion industry, women's fashion, um, women's hairdos, women's face shapes. So this gets you thinking about all the topics around that. And then to show you in Bloomberry, Maybe we do um, we do hairstyles, and Bloomberry is going to go and scrape form um, questions for co-occurring words and get related topics. So this is really cool: cute hairstyles, easy hairstyles, curly hair, different hairstyles, haircut. You know, some of these might be interesting to put into here. And so we've got our C topics. That's step number one. Step number two is now we need long tail topic ideas off of this. So. Why don't we take uh, operating margin, which I think is a good example, and I've already pre-searched it here in Answer the Public. So step number two is to get long tail suggestions with search volume. And the way to do that is use Answer the Public and a plugin that I've been really liking called Keywords Everywhere. It's a free plugin for Chrome. 
And uh, once you install that plugin and activate it, when you do your searches and answer the public, you're going to get search volume right inside of Answer the Public. So I don't need to move these words into the AdWords keyword tool to get volume. They're all right in here and I can scan them and I can look for topic ideas based upon volume. So again, medium industry with a medium authority, I'm looking for topics that sort of have maybe around 100 or 200 searches a month because based on experience, I know that those are going to be uh, lower in competition and easier to rank for. So one that caught my eye was operating margin example. And then searching that in Google, I can see that there's other lower domain authority sites ranking here. Domain authority 31, 28, 28, and there's one down here for 28. So if my client has a domain authority of 35 and there's some other sites ranking here that have a low authority and I think my client can create a bigger, better, newer, more complete piece of content, now this is a great area where uh, we might want to post a topic specifically about operating margin example. And of course you need to intuit what that article would actually look like, what the user's looking for. Uh, so this process here is step number three. We're evaluating the long tail for the actual opportunity to assess if we should actually create the piece of content around that topic. So once you find that, you can then move it into another spreadsheet, which I like, which I'm showing the actual topic, the volume, the potential that I think that the client can rank. And then what you want to do is pull in, I like to bring in the example article. You can show that to the person that's creating the content or you can use that as a reference if you're doing the content. And then I like to bring that into SEMrush in the URL report to get an idea for how much traffic this piece of content is driving. Now keep in mind, this might be ranking for things that you're not going to rank for. So this is getting a lot of monthly traffic. And so you're going to enter that here. It's, um, you know, getting, uh, let's see, it's getting about, so monthly visits, you know, a low estimate is this one's getting about 9,000 visits a month. Uh, again, that might not be the full amount of traffic you're going to get because you want your targeting operating margin example. This thing's ranking for just operating margin. So, you know, there's some nuances there that you need to know about. And again, that's why this video is a little bit more in the advanced level because you'll have an idea of um, what you actually are going to rank for with that. But those are the three steps. I've been refining this process. I've really wanted to share this for a little while. Uh, why don't I go ahead and just do one more of these? So let's say we want to... Um, come up with a blog article topic for the idea of hairstyles. Uh, again, you're going to go back to answer the public. You're going to enter your uh, your seed topic into answer the public. You're going to hit enter. You're going to have your keywords everywhere plugin turned on and you're going to find the most searched ones over here. These are super high, so this is a good example. So this is where I would actually start to scan the ones alphabetically to look for things that maybe get, you know, like I said, 10 to 100 to 200 searches a month uh, to find something that this particular authority site can compete with. And so I haven't planned this ahead of time. So I'm just scanning, uh, I'm just scanning ahead. I'm just scanning uh, live in real time right here to uh, maybe find something that would make a good topic. So Jackie O hairstyles, this is kind of interesting. And again, you need to be, um, you know, aware of and cognizant of the fact of like what would actually make a good piece of content for your client. Is this going to drive the right type of traffic that you want? So again, that's why this is a medium level video because uh, you should have all of those things in mind. But this is something I would not try to go after. If you notice here, everything ranking is pretty high authority. It's higher than, you know, 50 and 60, except for this one random result. So you, you might have a tough time ranking for that if you are, you know, trying to uh, pitch that to your client. However, in the search suggest here, this is now the Keywords Everywhere plugin um, working in Google. Now I see pictures of Jackie Kennedy hairstyles. This is kind of an interesting one. So we're, of course, going to get Google Images here. But maybe there's an uh, opportunity. Nope, <laughs> there isn't. So everything else ranking here is too high authority. So that's where you're going to go back to you know, your long tail here and keep digging, keep looking, be persistent and try to find something 
that has uh, uh, hairstyles you can do with wet hair. So this might be an opportunity. Again, we're just we're digging for something that has at least a little bit of volume, but a, more of a gap in domain authority. And you know, women's fashion and hairstyles, frankly, just might be a more competitive area. So you might need to spend more time researching. So. No pun intended, I rinse and repeat, and I do this for every single you know, long tail that I come up with. I just keep looking and looking and looking uh, until you find something. Wet hairstyles for black hair. So, you know, we keep digging into long tail, 50 searches a month, but again, 100, 100, 100, 36, 46, 48. So maybe a low opportunity of ranking there depending upon how good of a piece of content you can do. Um, I'm going to stop the tutorial here because I think you get the idea. Uh, you know, again, we're just looking into the C topics for long tails for something to post about. So you might put this here. You might do low uh, possibility ranking, get your SEM rush report and everything, uh, and to get an idea of um, you know the monthly traffic and whatnot. But uh, that's what you would do. So rinse and repeat. Do that. Uh, you know, gather your C topics with Moz Keyword Explorer and Bloomberry, drop those into Answer the Public with your Keywords Everywhere plugin, search them in Google, assess for your potential of ranking, do that over and over and over again to get your topics. That's the way that I've been getting topics very quickly for clients. And so uh, again, that's the beauty of this method is how fast you can come up with these topic ideas, especially in industries that you might not be as familiar with as your own. So I hope this video helps. Again, it went very quickly, so if you have questions, leave them in the forum below. I also provide hourly consulting. You can find me on clarity.fm under my name, Dan Shore. Check out the Experts in the Wire SEO podcast. Check out my site, evolvingseo.com. I offer all kinds of variety of SEO consulting, keyword research, technical audits, or just say hi to me online. I'm on Twitter, Dan underscore Shore, S-H-U-R-E. All right, hope you enjoyed this off-the-cuff video on a Wednesday evening. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Thanks.